Oh my goodness, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> wow. I'm supposed to be getting ready to go camping right now, but I really want to take you on a tour of my mega farm. Today we're taking a look at it like you've never before seen, so make sure you drop a like on the video and join the fam if you haven't already, because we got even crazier stuff coming up. All right, enjoy the video guys, peace. And here we are, the mega farm. You can't even see it all in the same render, but it's massive. The airport stretching the entire size and length of the farm itself. We're gonna head on over to the barn first, where we're gonna start this tour off with the first thing that I ever built here, the animal barn. Now, I used to live on a farm. This is as close to the feedlot as I could get. I really tried to replicate that feel. Um, so we've got three sheep and three uh, cows. And it's really curious because the cows don't come out, neither do the sheep anymore. And I haven't seen the animals in a long time. Now, I could maybe try and destroy the barns, put them on the grass, see if that works. But I am at build complexity over here. I cannot place another piece. So if I destroy this barn, these animals are gone forever. So I gotta be careful. Just gotta wait, I guess. Tending to the farm, we have Guernsey, Sunflower as well, and old man Otis himself here running the operations. Now normally I have seeds that I would give them or I would give them some plants or whatever I have in the back of the truck. I would be able to drop it into the feeder right here and they were actually able to eat through the feeder. So this is how I was feeding them for role play purposes for a little bit but it looks like I won't be feeding any animals anytime soon. So with that being said, look at this beautiful windmill over here. This was another one of the first things that I put down. This was an experiment and I even have a video on how to make this. The windmill has always been one of my favorite pieces on the farm and it will continue to be. I also have some plans to make one that runs on itself and I'm hoping that with the new toys that I can make this work. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on those noties so you never miss another game breaking upload. We have a very natural cornfield and I also had some corn slipped in between, but I wanted to fill up on the animals so I actually had to harvest all the corn that I had. I do have to go ahead and replant that, which brings us to the next item on the docket. This is the main barn. It's also the main area of operations for the farm. What we have over here is a manure container. I use this to hold all of my fertilizer and soil. We have some hay bales on the side of the barn. If we go and take a peek on the inside, we for a while we actually used this as the area to process grain because we were making a ton of biomass. And I still have to get all of this stuff along this wall out of here. But that being said, take a look at this tractor. I never did release a tutorial on this. I like to drive this out into the cornfield. I made a custom seed planter to go with it as well. It does drive with the trailer and it does drive nicely. It drives nice, it turns horribly, just like some tractors do, but all in all, it gives me that realistic farm experience that I'm looking for. We have the villager barn here. This is just where the villagers stay, and I have some storage chests and stuff in there. So there's nothing too special. We don't even need to go inside, but over here is my 64 chest mega silo storage room that initially I was gonna fill up with only seeds and plants, but I've decided to use this as my storage room for the world because I mean, look at this. We've got nine chests, nine chests, nine chests, right? And then we've got 36 up top. So my math is horribly wrong. It's 63 chests. I guess one chest isn't horrible, but it's still a lot of storage. Thank you. 
I actually already have a lot of the clips that I need for this, so I'm just gonna use some of the footage that I've already taken. Enjoy the farmhouse, you guys. Now that we're done at the farmhouse, it's time to go to the biggest spectacle of the farm operation. The runway, the vehicle bay, and the air traffic control tower. The farm airport. We'll actually start by going underneath the runway where I threw just a tiny little bit of detail. You see we've got some lights running along the edge of the runway. I used some of the Star Wars pieces as supports. I think that turned out beautiful. Right here is like the jobless trash panda spot underneath the runway. Been removed from his job, so he does jobless trash panda things, whatever those may be. As we go up here, you're gonna see a ton of aircraft on the runway. Guys, it's what I'm known for. I don't know how else to say it, but go check out all of my aircraft videos. If you're looking for a flyer, I've got tons of them. We've got the bomber plane, the dragon jet, the air balloon, the paraglider. We've got the blue bullet as well as Aang's staff glider. The lineup doesn't get any better than that, guys. But we're not here for the aircraft necessarily. We're here for the build itself. I actually went and trimmed down the runway a little bit just because there were so many pieces. And there are still pieces that I want to take out. But that is like way for the future. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the vehicle bay and the tra air traffic control tower. The vehicle bay was built using all Moise Isley pieces. I wanted to make a bay that was strictly with those set pieces and I think what we got turned out really, really well. To be honest, there's a lot of unnecessary pieces in this build, but if we go inside, you'll see this beautiful chandelier as it opens up for the aircraft to come inside. The beautiful double back window, which you can see the mountain outside. Oh, just absolutely stunning. It feels open with the double window and how massively large it is. The chandelier is big in and of itself, but it's not taking up too much space while still being a focal point for when you turn your head around the corner. Peeking out the back, I just wanna take a close look at the windows. They look amazing. Uh, like, ugh. I just, ugh. You know what? Enjoy just a couple seconds of cinema before I come back and ruin it, talking about what's next. Next we have the air traffic control tower. This was the first that I ever built of its kind. The beacon that towers over the farm, ensuring that the product leaves and returns safely. The control room up top is absolutely stunning, but we're obviously gonna start from the bottom floor. Now there's nothing on the first floor and there's some chests on the second floor with some power cells. Another floor of nothing. It leads to the rooftop of the cargo bay. It houses the hang glider and the not so hot air balloon. You can also see down into the cargo bay and the rooftop also gives you a really nice view of the farm. I won't make you suffer through all those empty floors so we're actually going to skip up to the top where we have a one 
floor viewing room. There's absolutely nothing else on this floor, but you do get a view all around the area. 360, you can see the farm through the fence. You can also see the mountain and you can almost see the grain mill off in the distance. As we go up top, we have the control room. It's very well lit now that it's nighttime. I'm gonna give you guys the best views that I can get from the top of the control tower, and then we're gonna do a send off from the rooftop. So there's only one way to jump off, but I think we're going to wait for the sun to rise. Now that that's all in, I actually want to go ahead and make myself a fast travel station here. Because we'll be doing a full world tour across, across all of our mega builds within the world. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw the bus station down. I'm not even going to stress about making it look pretty. And I want to at least see what this place looks like from the sky. So let's go. All right, so we come over the farm and this is the crate. Yeah, see, I've never seen it like this. Oh my goodness, I can see every single plot of land. That's a screenshot. That's the thumbnail. Oh my goodness, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite part of the farm. What should I add? Are you excited about the automatic windmill? Or do you not really care? Take it easy, everybody. You already know. I'll see you in the next one.